Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tech tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Linux on your Chromebook and then use it and install apps such as GIMP, Audacity, or even Firefox, as well as many more. A couple things I want to go over before we get started. This is in beta mode, so the apps you're installing may not run as smoothly as they would on a desktop computer. And I haven't noticed any stability issues, but it's just great to have these apps on my Chromebook in the first place. Next, if you get lost during this tutorial or you can't follow some of the things we're typing on the screen, check the description because I'll have tons of information down there as well as a detailed write-up of what I'm doing and how to do it. And then finally, this is a new feature from Google and it's not compatible with all Chromebooks, although it is compatible with many Chromebooks. So the first thing we're gonna do is go through the steps to see if you have this ability on your Chromebook. So what we're gonna do to do that is simply go down to the bottom right Select the clock to bring up the menu, and then in the menu, we're going to select the gear to open the Chromebook settings. Once the Chromebook settings open, if you see Linux beta over here in the left sidebar under settings, that means you have this ability. If you don't see this, what I recommend doing is going down to About Chrome OS, and that'll have it do an update of the firmware on your Chromebook, so you may gain this ability after doing that. But if you upgrade and you don't see Linux beta, you don't have the ability to do this on your Chromebook. So hopefully they add support for this in the future. So now let's get to how you actually install Linux. What we need to do is select Linux beta and then just go to turn on. Once set up Linux on your Chromebook opens up, select install and then give it about five minutes to actually install Linux on your Chromebook. All right, so once you see the terminal come up, this is a Linux terminal. And as you can see the green text, this is allowing us to type commands in here to Linux so that we can install applications, different things like that. The first thing I recommend doing is typing in a command that'll update the terminal, make sure that it has all the latest software so that we are up to date with everything. We do that by typing in sudo space apt hyphen git space update. Then just hit enter on your keyboard and it'll go through that process. This should take a minute or two. All right, once you see done down here and the green text is back, that means we're completed and we can now install any applications we want to. Now the commands to install applications are very simple and I recommend checking the description because I have a list of commands for several different apps you can install, including GIMP, Audacity, Firefox, several different Office suites, different things like that. So you can get tons of different Linux apps on your Chromebook. But for this tutorial, we're going to install Firefox. So I'm gonna type in sudo, space apt hyphen git space install space firefox hyphen esr all right so we're going to hit enter it's going to go check online find out the size of it and then ask us if we want to install it so it's 185 me megabytes that's not too much for me so i'm going to hit y for yes and then select enter and it'll go through download it and then install it to my chromebook all right, so once it's completed, you'll see the green text again where we can type in more commands. Before we do anything else, what I recommend doing is running a command that'll update all the Linux apps that we've installed. So this will update Firefox, making sure it's the latest version. The way we do that is we type in sudo space apt hyphen git space upgrade. And then we select enter. So now this is going to check which applications we have installed and then download the latest version. As you can see, there is an update available. It's 134 kilobytes. So I'm gonna select Y for yes, and then enter to install it. This one might take a couple minutes. All right, so once it's done installing the updates, you can go ahead and close the terminal. If you wanna reopen it, you simply go down to the launcher and you can either search terminal or Linux and it will come up or open it in your recent apps. You should see any recently installed Linux apps down here in the recent apps. So as you can see Firefox, and I do have Firefox open, and you can see it is just like the desktop version. So now you can use it, you can install add-ons such as NoScript or things that may not be available in Chrome. All right, so that's how you install and then use Linux on your Chromebook. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Chromebook tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.